Well, folks, in today's video, I visit the OVAR swap meet. I don't think you could classify this as a train show because they didn't have any layouts set up, although they had tons of vendors and great deals to be had. So here we are inside the actual uh, swap meet, and as you can see, there are tons of vendors with tons of new and used stuff. Here's one of the first ones I saw. As you can see, they've got some Canadian National locomotives. Most of the stuff was used here. However, they did have some beautiful brass stuff. I mean, I'll be honest with you guys, every time this show comes around, it's like Christmas for me. Tons of used model trains at ridiculously low prices. It's just fantastic. And you can always find the strangest stuff at train shows. It really is great. This vendor had some good stuff. Um, I did consider buying some of these Bachmann steamers because they were at a good price, but I wasn't sure if they were split chassis, so I didn't want to... Uh, take the risk but as you can see they had, he had some great stuff here and here are some more used locomotives N scale and HO here is the Smith Falls Railway Museum's setup as you can see they had a lot of locomotives for only five dollars each and over here they had the mother load of locomotives mostly from New England railways apparently this was all part of an estate which was all being sold off these ones were not near to as cheap as the ones from the Smith Falls Railway Museum, although they were also a lot more fancy. Uh, I've never even heard of this railroad before, the Maine Eastern. They, they were quite uh, interesting looking locomotives, all being sold as a lot. They also had tons of buildings in N-Scale. I have to say, for all the model train shows I've been to, I don't think I've seen one with more N-Scale stuff. This was a very impressive show. They had buildings, locomotives, you name it, all N-Scale. And uh, I did wind up buying some interesting items, which I wasn't expecting to, because I wasn't necessarily planning to expand the N-Scale collection, but there was just some deals that were too good to resist. Here's some more N-scale stuff. You can see they've got some diesels, steamers, and a ton of old rolling stock, all in very good condition. And over here is even more N-scale stuff. Really beautiful rolling stock there and a locomotive. And here's some HO stuff, some buildings. I think I've seen some of these at some previous shows, but uh, still sort of interesting. There's a couple Mahano engines. And over here is an N-Scale Brass engine, which I've never even seen one of those before. And here they had some more HO stuff. This is an old lifelike engine. I believe it's in a Bachman box. And uh, right below that, they had a Tyco uh, box, but it had a Athern in it. And then this was an Athern dummy engine and an Athern powered engine. And they had this cool little... Uh, locomotive here, Norfolk and Western. Over here they had an N-scale model power engine and what a legit box. I mean this thing's so classy. So we've now found supposedly dual gauge track. We're not sure if it's N-scale so Ottawa's to the rescue with uh, this thing he bought. And the census is N -scale. it works. And then here's our second su test subject here. And HO scale. All right, I've never seen flex track like this. This is an interesting piece. And as I was saying earlier, the train shows just have the strangest things. It really is entertaining going around and just seeing all the funny stuff you can find. I mean, you've got the more classic stuff, and then you've got things like this, which are uh, Canadian and uh, working for the United States Mail. Now at the end of the day, I made off with some exceptionally good deals, and I'll show you guys exactly what I got in a future video. Thank you guys so much for watching.